Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's Evolve. Uh, so this week I want to talk about business credit. Uh, what is it, uh, why it's good, and how to get it. So what is business credit? So any loan or line of credit to a company or an individual or for business purposes as opposed to personal use. A loan or line of credit that a company extends to another in order for the second company to buy goods and services, especially those necessary to conduct uh, its operations. Benefits of having business credit. So this is going to be the same as almost like having a credit card, but it's just specifically for the business uh, or lines of credit for the business. Um, so by having business credit, a company will be able to benefit from the following access to cash flow and financial flexibility, separation of personal and business expenses, points, cash back, and other rewards, large credit or spending limit, opportunity to boost your business credit rating, and no personal guarantee. Uh, that last line, no personal guarantee is huge because uh, if you get a credit card now, uh, you're usually putting a, a, a personal guarantee behind it. So, you know, that's goes on your credit, your personal guaranteeing that money, you know, bankruptcy, all that stuff. The beauty part about a, a business and no personal guarantee is um, the business owns the line of credit or the credit card. It's in the business's name. So if for some reason something happens where you go out of business, you're not going to necessarily be owed for those, uh, owe for those debts because it's attached to the business, right? There'll still be some sort of structure that you'll have to work out, but overall it won't screw up your personal credit because there's two separate credit agencies, a business credit agency and personal credit. And we'll touch on that here in a bit. So why you need business credit. It can enable you to more easily acquire financing, increases the value of your company, protects your own personal credit, and allows you uh, the flexibility to grow. What's included in each type of business credit? Each type of business credit, so there's revolving credit, which enables you to make charges up to that limit. You have the option to either pay your balance in full or carry a balance, revolve the debt and make a payment. This is like most general credit cards, right? You might have a $10,000 limit, you can spend all 10,000 and only pay $1,000 a month or you know whatever it might be. Um, or or you could pay it all off if you wanted to with no penalty. Charge, uh, charge credit, have to pay the total balance in full each month, prevents your company from accumulating debt. Uh, so what you spend in that month, you have to pay off in that month. Uh, so really it's, it's kind of like the help for a Band-Aid fix, right? Um, something happens in your business, you need to buy an additional 100 trash cans, you could put it on that credit card, but that, that charge card, you have to pay it off that same month. Service credit. Any agreements your company has with service providers, examples, internet service, cell phone service, web hosting. Uh, as a business, when you go into stuff like this, you usually you want to try to ask like, oh, do you have a business account or can I set up a business account with you for it? Because they might have some additional paperwork um, or different paperwork that you fill out, you know, with your EIN and all that kind of stuff, right? Installment credit. Lender loans your company a set amount of funds and you agree to repay that amount and interest in a regular monthly installment with a fixed payment for a set length of time. Example, a commercial auto loan. A vendor trade account. This is, this is the good one here. Known as a vendor credit or supplier credit. A business allows your company to buy products or services up to a set credit limit and pay for the total outstanding amount on an invoice within 10, 15, 30, or 60 days, depending on the terms. Um, so this is, this is huge with uh, starting off to build business credit and, and get business credit because there's some places that you'll go first that allow small accounts to be created and then you just show growth with that account and you get the next credit account and the next credit account and so on from there. Um, so this is, like, this is almost like you and your business when you do a net 30 on your invoicing, right? You're doing the servicing on the complex, you're submitting the invoice and you're saying net 30, you've got 30 days to pay this bill. So even though we did the service already, you're really getting paid 60 days out from the start of service, right? On, on each month. Um, so it's just usually something uh, offered to, you know, businesses because people understand that with cash fluctuations uh, where businesses need to be, how and where to get business credit. So Dun & Bradstreet, you can get it, you get a Dun's number, a business credit reporting, uh, you, your score is up to 100, right? So it's not like your personal credit where you can go all the way up to 850. Uh, business, credit, uh, credit, business credit score can only go up to 100 and you need three trade lines. Uh, have services to help your company get credit. So uh, Dun & Bradstreet, you can sign up and go through their, you know, pay them uh, a fee and they'll help you along that path. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can do it on your own 
um, as you just accumulate accounts and grow. Um, but if you want a more streamlined approach, uh, you can go that, that direction if you'd like. So easy net 30 accounts to get. Granger, Uline, Quill, Suma Office Supplies, Crown Office Supplies, SupplyWorks, and an Amazon Net 55 account. So uh, you need to, when you make purchases from any of these, it's really easy to go in and set up the account and almost immediately, boom, with a click of a button, you get uh, your line of credit or not even necessarily your line of credit, but your Net 30 account. And so they don't really put a cap on it as much as they, your purchase has to be at least over $50. Um, to really qualify for it to hit your credit, your business credit report, right? Um, so really easiest way is to go in and grange your Uline Quill, Amazon Net 55. You order a couple when you need products, you order a couple of products from each one, and then uh, you pay the net 30 out of the business and you're starting to grow your business accounts. So make payments on time, allow five trade lines to report for one year. So after five of them report for one year, um, apply for credit lines without a personal guarantee. So fleet cards, store cards, um, you know, the next tier up, right? So a fleet card is essentially if you have uh, commercial trucks um, and you want to, you know, spend the gas on that, you get a fleet card from a gas station. That's essentially the gas station's credit card for business accounts. And then all gas would be put on that card. That card would be paid off. Um, store credit cards, you didn't see on that previous Net30 accounts, Office Max or Office Depot, sometimes can be a little tricky to get because you need to get a store card with them, but they need, they're essentially the next tier. So you need to do the other accounts first, and then you could go to a, uh, you know, something like an office max office Depot and say, I want a store card for my business with no personal guarantee. And then at that point they can move through and see if they can approve you, you know, for that. And now you're, you're building the credit even more, right? Cause you know, you could build this so much so that um, say another financial crash happens uh, and you might personally struggle and maybe your credit is dinged because you had personal loans and stuff like that, but your business is doing really strong and your business credit is, you know, perfect. And then you can start getting higher business loans and lines of credit on things to, uh, you know, some people that uh, flip houses or, you know, renovate homes do this. They've uh, over the years, they've acquired enough where they can actually get a home loan, not personally guaranteed by themselves, but by the company because they have enough lines of credit and history and age with that. So uh, overall takeaway, uh, get a DUNS number. Once you get a DUNS number, you start to get in the system, get five trade accounts that we kind of went over the easy ones to get, you know, the Granger, Uline, stuff like that. Um, a lot of products that we do use gloves, you know, any sort of clean supplies, you can definitely get through Uline. Um, if you have an office and you have to buy toilet paper and, you know, paper towels, you can get that through, you know, some of those products as well, Granger, stuff like that. Um, so just try to use the account, you know, for five accounts for a year, maybe use each account at least once every three months or so. So you could rotate through them. If you're like, ah, oh, five accounts is a lot. If I have to buy the same type of stuff, I can't put that money out. Um, just rotate through them then. Um, credit lines don't need a personal guarantee. This is what business credit is huge. And this is where you start to get into that. Um, it's hard to start a business and it's hard to kind of grow the business. But once you start growing it and accumulating these things, uh, it really pays off in the end because this is when you can use this whole avenue of a business, you know, to really do more powerful moves to put you in a better position to uh, be an entrepreneur and, uh, you know, not necessarily a worker. Uh, and the max business credit score is a 100. So thanks for hanging out with me uh, and taking in all this information on business credit. Um, have a great one. Bye.